so just before I start looking at a site which I've never looked at again on this channel I just want to speak about the last video and the one prior to that I'd say 98% of the comments that I received on the African circles uh, were all promising you know everybody thought that what I proposed or discovered uh, at the end of that video seem to be what those sites are those millions of circles that uh, uh, the last one the one on Bosnia that I just put out the other day I would say well there were a lot more pushback and I expected it anyway and if I'm putting across some points of view of mine on a few sites which you don't agree with it's no reason to get upset with me and just write off everything else that I have done in the past which you've more than agreed with most of the time but anyway because I mentioned how the main com well the main pyramid the pyramid of the sun was aligned to true north uh, more than what the great pyramid is right which would take some explaining well the thing is, I didn't mention it, is that the three sides, the other sides, uh, are completely offline, okay? So it goes towards it being natural. Uh, and if you don't believe that, then look at this map here, right? Which is a top-down view of the main complex itself. I mentioned how it's a equilateral triangle, which I can't prove myself, but that's what they say. But if you're looking at this, it's obvious that it's three natural hills, which have always been there. You can track the contour lines of these hills uh, and the pinnacles just happen to be in a triangle, that's all. The site that we're looking at here is the Red Pyramid on Giza. I did say I've never looked into it, I forgot it was seven years ago, I made about a seven minute video. I'm not even sure if it still exists on my channel anymore. And it was mainly about the erosion which I suppose is the main point I'm going to make here and show you in better detail uh, the mainstream archaeological narrative is on the screen which you know I'm not going to get into here or believe in any means whatsoever now it does say at the bottom though that it was encased in a white limestone I have made videos on the other pyramids mostly Giza showing how there was no different stone which encased the things okay that would be almost impossible uh, it was poured right and it was all the same stone that ran the entire length including the bent pyramid which i will show you just a few images at the end so why this white limestone that i'm showing on the screen here is part of the red pyramid uh, is it fallen off and being taken over there by archaeologists I don't know I would like to think that it since changed into that because there is something definitely wrong in my opinion with the process the making of this concrete which went into making the red pyramid the people that did it the team which would have had to have been poured into rebar uh, and girders framing right over the entire site for it to be so level even to this day now I'm not really going to get too much into the tunnels supposed chambers because there's more in this one than any of the others actually in my opinion we're only looking at a third I will share two videos that I've made on the past on that particular subject just how buried these sites are in Egypt I can't get into everything in this video because it would be over half an hour long I just want to keep it on the subjects that I'm covering here which will be proving the statement that I just made uh, about it being poured into a rebar framing across its entire structure and girders because this is indeed from the Red Pyramid, it's one of the passageways and if you look at the roof, anybody that knows anything about erosion, corrosion of rebar through concrete over time that's what's happened there now, I don't think it's anything to do with it being modern, it just doesn't look that way uh, but it doesn't have to be because I've also proved that it's been found or recognized at least by me within the Great Pyramid here on, on this image and we know for a fact that they were pouring megatons of concrete 
and so should all the people that do conferences on these topics or write books over the years because this is Stephen Mailer of the chemist school uh, and for what reason he cannot recognize that that's oxidizing rebar in front of him there because it is in Giza uh, is beyond me right but you ought to look into just how much concrete goes into pouring into a dam right something like the Hoover Dam right because it would have to be pouring into a rebar and framing wouldn't it you couldn't just put misshapen blocks down all over the place right because obviously the pressure of the water would just blast it down in about 10 seconds flat right because this thing in Egypt here does seem to look like that at least and the right hand side is uh, all dammed up you know with sludge and sand just how much the entire thing is buried I don't know but it's just what it appears to be whereas this here seems pretty far out but there's a good chance that it is what I am pointing out on the screen here now I will leave you with some music just for a minute I will leave two links at the end of the video proving just how buried Giza really is Well, if you like that ladies and gentlemen and you want to help the channel moving forward you can press on the link in a pinned comment which will be in every video from now on. Thank you.